G'day, this is Cam. This is beginning of a series of um, digital painting in Photoshop. Um, so let's get started. Now, um, first of all, for setting up our Intuos 4 tablet, you can do the same on Intuos 3 or the Bamboo. I'm familiar with Intuos 4 and 3. Recommend Intuos 3 and 4 because they're the um, you know they're professional tablets. They they have the full functionality. So yeah, get your hands on one. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably do have one. You're trying to figure out how to use it. So, first of all, we'll just look at the functions. Now, if you haven't found this menu, this interface, you'll find it in the uh, Wacom tablet folder in your start menu. Uh, have a dig around for it if you can't find it. Now. First of all, we're going with the functions. We're setting this up for Photoshop because that's what the series is going to be on. So to do that, plus Photoshop, da da da. Okay, but it won't be there if you don't have it open. So um, if you don't have Photoshop open, just find it through browsing. Uh, the default on my one is in Program Files, da da da. Do Photoshop CS5, and you're looking for the XC file. So yeah. If you found that, you're going to have it here. Now let's go down the list. Now, this isn't the default setup. I've got it customized for my own. So, I'll just explain some um, the list of customization abilities you can have for each of these buttons. You can also have these on the Intuos 3. So, we have clicks self-explanatory keystroke for example I can set up my hotkeys on here I can set it for B brush and there we have hotkey I've made click OK um, we've got modifier so that's going to be control shift alt click so if, if you can't figure out if you stress and going oh why doesn't keystroke work you'll find it in modifier if you want to use shift and alt and all that you're definitely going to be using alt for digital painting because that's your eyedropper tool very useful for digital painting in photoshop now we also have the radio menu which is great I'll explain that later right now I'll just go through the rest of them back and forward that's for you know, internet browsing pan and scroll is this thing is that can move around within Photoshop in full screen mode. Show desktop, show desktop. Switch application is like alt tabbing. Open and run is for different applications. Precision mode is going to be you can hold that button down and you're going to have you know more precise um, resolution on the tablet surface. I never use it. If you have a smaller tablet, you might want to use that because it's going to help with some things. If you're trying to get really nice lines or something like that. Display toggle is for if you have dual monitors, you can switch between displays using that button. Show settings is going to pop up all your hotkeys as a as a heads up display, so you can see all the buttons you've set up here if you've forgotten. Disabled is just for disabling a button. Application defined is you can define a key might a certain key a button is going to be defined by the application you're in. Default is just setting that to the default. Now that's it for express keys. Now we're onto the touch ring. Touch ring very useful. I use it for brush size and zooming. The button there changes which one of these functions it goes through so as you can see it skips two of them for me um, for you I, th I don't know just set it up how you want but these are very self-explanatory and for scrolling zooming keystroke setting up the same way as you saw with the buttons da 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 now let's move on to the radial menu radial menu very useful um, I've set it up to have 
you know my tools that I always use on the fly so brush, lasso, erase so forth to do that click click which area you want it keystroke might want to change it to um, I don't know levels or something levels even though that's not how you spell it okay just this example and you can set up the same way on the Intuos 3 because you've got the pop-up menu which isn't much different from the radio menu now going on to the grip pen you can set the tilt sensitivity which doesn't change a whole lot I mean that's only for if you got a brush with tilt function tip feel is how hard you have to press down on the on the stylus tip you can set the these little buttons here on the on the stylus I've set that for radio menu so I've got this on the fly it's really useful and right click which is another little pop up menu within Photoshop so you can set it up how you want eraser you can set this up how you want so uh, I don't need to explain that now pen mode you want to have it in pen mode it's the reason you got a tablet you don't want it to function like a mouse express keys that's just if you're turning your tablet not how you're meant to turn it you might say oh the express keys are up there so it's gonna move them around yeah see it starts to feel funny and I can barely click this now <laughs> uh, I won't do that again. Okay. Now monitor one. Um, obviously, I'm using monitor one, so I've got it set to there. If you're using dual screens, you can set it to one or two. And I recommend you have a button for display toggle if you're going to do that, because that way, when you use your tablet, it's not going to just go kind of halfway on the surface and then go to the next one and then use halfway there you'll be able to use the full surface of the tablet with each monitor and I recommend that now you can set it for a portion of the screen you can just change that with the with this up here or you can punch it in in the numbers here I use the full screen and the full tablet area and you can change the portion just the same way as we saw the monitor so yeah that wraps it up you can save all this stuff it's going to be saved just when you close it automatically but you can back it all up in the Wacom file preference utility within the same folder that you found the um, the properties in so yeah save a backup that way if you're using different computers you can keep it on a flash drive or something and just always load it up and yeah so that, that concludes that lesson if you have questions leave a comment email me um, or telepathy, although I'm not psychic, so don't try that one. Yeah, so yeah, um, get into it. Look out for more videos coming on the on the channels or on YouTube, Vimeo, or on the uh, blog or website. See ya.